Welcome back to our channel, Retired and Loving It. I'm Terry. And I'm Keith. And today, we're on leg two of the Indiana Cave Trail. We're at Squire Boone Caverns in Mockport, Indiana. A couple years ago, we did a whole overview video of Squire Boone Caverns and Village, and I'll post a link of that in the description of this video. Guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and press that subscribe button right over here. If you like our videos, then go ahead and please give us a big thumbs up. So a bit of the history here at the park. The cave was discovered in 1790 by Squire Boone. He was doing some hunting and trapping. Specifically on this journey, he was mapping out tributaries of the Ohio River. He was canoeing up Buck Creek when he saw the mill stream just down the hill there. And he saw the mill stream that meets up with Buck Creek there at the bridge and started walking up this way to get some more info for his map and saw that it's pouring out of the side of the hill from our cave here. So he set up a camp and was camped out for about three days at the time when he was ambushed by some natives. They weren't too pleased with him being here because they knew where one pioneer goes, others will soon surely follow. And so they actually ambushed him in the camp and ran him up the hillside there. Up the hill, there is another cave on the property and he hid up there. Now as he was hiding, the natives couldn't find him and Squire believed God had spared his life that this was now holy ground. So in 1804, he came back and purchased a tract of land from the government here containing the park that we now have and built a life for himself. As we enter the cave, we apologize for the darkness as caves aren't well lit for video. It's covered with formations known as brimstone dams. They start off as a large bump on the bottom of the water channel, but then slowly as the water comes over, it deposits more minerals on those bumps and they grow wider and wider and taller and taller until they are level with the surface of the water almost. Here in this room, we do have most of the speleothems or cave formations you guys came out to see today. We're going to start it off with our soda straws or tubular stalactites. Right up there on the underside of that shelf, you can see a lot of those. They're hanging down. They sort of look like shoestrings up there. And those are hollow tubes of rock that are filled with water. Now, they begin life as just a water droplet up there, but when that water droplet falls off, it'll leave a ring of minerals behind. And then over time, those rings of mineral deposits build up into the tubes that we have now today. The ceiling, you get what's called a column there. There's that nice big one right there. We've got a stalagmite that grew all the way up to the top there. That counts even though it's just a stalagmite because it did cross the gap. Right next to it, you can see that skinny little soda straw connecting to that stalagmite. That also counts. And then actually right behind you guys, here we've got some bulbous stalactites. And they sort of look like beehives maybe, or tonsils I've been told on occasion. This little slope right here, all these little trees coming up from the ground are actually built out of mineral deposits where water is seeping up from below and then branching out as it deposits. And then if you follow that across, it actually lines up exactly with that one right over there. We have been through a lot of caves, and Squire Boone Caverns is by far the most beautiful cave we have ever been in. Pictures and video cannot do it justice at all. This was absolutely breathtaking. We could have stood there for hours watching that waterfall. This is a very active cave with a lot of water flowing through. This is Herbie, a stalagmite we were allowed to pick up and hold. If you ever get the opportunity, you need to see this cave in person. 
It's just so beautiful. So we call this formation the Rock of Ages. Formations get about one cubic inch of growth every hundred years. And so if you apply that average to this formation, we've actually had some gentlemen come out and measure this and estimate the age. And the estimate brings it right around a million years in the making. This is the deepest point of the cave that you'll be touring today. You're currently 82 feet below the surface right here. Now being this far underground, of course, it is the best place to turn the lights out. Now we are in the dark zone of the cave, and we have been in the dark zone for quite some time. We'll be going dark in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So yes, we do have the remains of Squire Boo here in the cave. Inside of this coffin, there are 27 bones in his skull. Squire Boone, who is Daniel Boone's brother, was originally buried in the cave on the property where he escaped the natives. However, due to grave robbers, his body needed to be moved and his family requested that it be put here in the caverns. I knew we'd find a big one. I just didn't know where he'd be. Hello, little fella. Here's the straight oh, wow. up. <laughs> 70 degrees steps up from this point right here where I'm standing. Ooh, right up here we might have another sound here. Oh yeah, check him out. It's a family reunion. Yeah. And we now have completed leg two of the Indiana Cave Trail. Thanks so much for joining us today on leg two of the Indiana Cave Trail. Squire Boone Caverns is so beautiful yes. and so unique because that's where Squire Boone is laid to rest. We really had a great time here. We had a, a, just an awesome tour guide and guys, Thank you for coming along with us. Guys, if you liked our videos, go ahead and press that subscribe button right over there and give us a big thumbs up and please share these videos with your friends. We'll see you next time on Retired and Loving It.